democracy. It's a great thing. Where's it gone? Democracy doesn't exist in the UK anymore. We've got massive cor corruption running through the Lib Lab Con and the government. I was just speaking to a councillor yesterday, an independent councillor up in the North East, I won't name him, telling me uh, that a woman and uh, him had, uh, had put in some, uh, a couple of letters into the local media. And when the Labour Party had got with it, they were, they were uh, evidencing some truthful claims against the Labour Party of corruption and stuff and shenanigans. Um, he put a letter or two to, to the uh, forward, this independent councillor, uh, helping this woman. Uh, one, one, one letter was published, and once the Labour Party got wind of what was going on, uh, they, they got onto the paper. The paper. This paper in particular is owned by Trinity Mirror Group, which owns uh, the Mirror newspaper, and God knows what, it's a leftist, leftist rag, like they all are, most of them these days anyway. Uh, the next day, uh, so he sent in the follow-up letter to, to conclude this, um, this story of claims of corruption against the Labour Party. And uh, lo and behold, they totally changed their tune, the paper. They didn't print it, this woman's claims. And um, the Labour Party basically had told the, the paper in question that if they were to, to uh, print any more <clears throat> evidence or any stories of corruption against the Labour Party, then they'd be pulling out, pulling out of advertising with Trinity Mirror Group, uh, which, is, which would cost the paper and the media group a lot of money, obviously, so it's basically a threat. Uh, and then the following day, the uh, Labour Party used taxpayers' money to uh, put a big spread, a two-page spread, full two-page spread, um, countering the claims made against them. And you just think, you, blatant use of taxpayers' money, wasting council taxpayers' uh, funds. Uh, you just think, uh, where is the democracy? Anyone like Nigel Farage that stands up against the establishment machine uh, machine is shot down in flames and we need this is why we've had enough we've got the disease is liberalism has infected every part every institution from the media the police uh, uh politicians everything our teachers everything the bbc our news outlets everything we get is corrupt it's but there's no balance anymore. Political equilibrium needs to be rebalanced. This is so why we're so we so desperately need UKIP on May the seventh. That's why I urge everybody to go out and re just readjust the balance. For 20 years we've had enough of this liberalist nonsense. Liberalism is a disease and it's consuming this country. It's eating us up and it will destroy us if we don't do, do something about it. We have one chance, one chance to get out on May the seventh. So at least redress the balance and fight back. It's been 20 odd years of the same. We've got all the six main leaders. It's the last chance, people. The last chance. 2017, David Cameron does not want to give us a referendum. But then when he does, if we do have one, it won't be a fair one. It'll be too late. We have be total, total loss of sovereignty. All the main parties, apart from UKIP, want to take us down the road of the EU. Total United States of Europe. A total loss of sovereignty will just be another, in a federal Europe, will just be another arm of Europe. We'll have no say, no power. We had a British Empire once. We can govern ourselves. The best people to govern this country are the British people. We know that. We've been fed a pack of lies. I just wish the people that read and believe the mainstream media would wake up. So, UKIP, why do you think the globalists and the NWO types, the common purpose deviants well, look at the cover ups that have gone in this country from, from child grooming child rape, paedophilia within the establishment, all covered up My, I've got a friend of mine Tony Nixon who's uh, an ex-solicitor bringing a claim against North Yorkshire Police and Julia Mulligan the North Yorkshire Police Crime Commissioner for corruption it just gets, they think they could just brush it aside and, and, and ride roughshod over democracy and the people so many cases now of, of misconduct in public office is incredible. And whenever something, it's like now they're trying to tell us they're going to check the passports of everybody, everybody, waste tons of time, man hours, and money checking the passports to stop would be jihadists, people leaving for Syria. Well, no! 
It's a li we have liberties in this country, we have democracy, let them go, they have free will to leave, but we do not want them back. These people are not British. British people stand up for rights, for democracy, democratic values. We don't go out blowing things up, blowing people up and shooting people. We go out, we exercise our democracy and we vote the right, we vote in the right way. We have freedom of speech, we cherish freedom of speech. We don't want to lose this, this is the last chance we're going to get to keep our democracies, our sovereignty. Please, I urge you, please to vote UKIP on May the 7th, it is imperative. It is the final chance we are going to get. I'm sick of the stupid rules. Where, where, wherever these silliness exists like these rules, we should be checking people coming into the country. And if they've been to Syria, turning them around, they, they, they made their bed, they can lie on it. They have an Islamic state to go to. These people are not British. I don't care whether they're born here or not. If they've gone out to take up arms for an Islamic state, for the... Uh, to, to found an Islamic State, then they can bloody well stay there as far as I'm concerned. We don't want them back. When will we wake up, and you can, you'll often find that anyone that's making these silly decisions that make no sense at all, it's coming from the, the corrupt, in, the head of these corrupt in, institutions, which you will often find are people that have been indoctrinated by the common, pur common purpose ideology. And, uh, Often as well, these liberals that have grown up in the 60s, have been born in the 60s and 70s, are now at the top of all these institutions. They've, been disease, they've got diseased minds, diseased by liberalism and stupidity. They'll absolutely destroy us. And I think that's what the goal is, the agenda is to open us up, do away with any pa patriotism, and just let us be swallowed up. Because the globalists want us all to be mixed, and it mixed up and not have any patriotism so that we can be swallowed by a, uh, a federalist United States of Europe and eventually they want a one world government, they want it to happen worldwide so that they can take over and it just be, there will be no democracy, there will be no more voting and I think after after 2020, I don't think there will be in 2020 that will be behind us voting for a Prime Minister, voting at all because we will have been swallowed. This this is the one that counts. 2015. Please, you've got to make it count. Vote UKIP is a vote for freedom. A vote against chaos, against anarchy. Anything else is a, a vote for freedom. If you, if you vote for Lib Lab Con, you're voting for the war machine. More warmongering. More, basically, more. It's com. You vote. It's a vote for communism. Total totalitarianism. Uh, Corruption on a grand scale. They've not signed off their accounts for 20 years. A vote for UKIP. Freedom, self-determination, liberty. A vote for your grandkids, yourself, your grandkids' futures, your kids' futures. A vote for this country to be get back on its feet again. We're on our knees. We're about to go under. We're like the Titanic now, about to hit the iceberg. And we've got one final chance to divert away from that iceberg. This is the last chance we've got to take it. The last warning. Please vote UKIP on May the 7th. Anything else is a vote for your own destruction. Thanks for listening. God bless.